area of basic plane figures. Hello there students, welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you are going to learn how to solve the area of square, rectangle, triangle, circle, and semicircle. Let us start! Let's take a look at this first example. We have here a square whose side measures 4 centimeters. Now let us determine its area. Oh wait, do you know what area means? Area is the number of square units needed to cover the surface of a plane figure. A square unit is a square whose each side measures one unit. If its side measures one centimeter, its area will be one square centimeter. If it's one kilometer, it will be one square kilometer. Or if it's one inch, it will be called one square inch. And so on. Now to determine the area of a certain plane figure, we just simply need to count the number of square units it covers. Now let's try and go back to our example. Again, we have here a square whose side measure 4 cm. It means that it has 4 1 cm. Now let us count. 1, 2, 3, and 4. As well on the other side, we have 4 cm, so it means it has 4 1 cm. So let us count. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now we can see that we already have some square units. Now again, to determine its area, we just simply need to count the number of square units it covers. Now let us count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 centimeters squared. It means that its area is 16 square centimeters. Now here, we can observe that if we multiply 4 centimeters by 4 centimeters, we will get the area which is 16 square centimeters. It means that the formula to get the area of a square is side times side or s times s or s squared. Now let's try this formula to our next example. Again, we have here a square, but this time, each side measures 9 decimeter. Again, the formula for the area of square is side times side, or S squared. So here, the measure of the side is 9 decimeters, so that will be 9 decimeters times 9 decimeters. If we multiply that, that will be 81 squared decimeters. And that is the area of this square. Wonderful! Now let's go and have another example. This time we have our rectangle, whose length measures 7 meters. It means that it has 7 1 meter. Now let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. While its weed measure 3 meters, it means that it has 3 1 meter. So let's count. 1, two and three now we already have some square units now to get its area let us count them now we have 21 square meters and that is its area now we can observe that if we multiplied seven meters to three meters we will get its area which is 21 square meters it means that if we multiply the length and the width, we are going to get its area. Therefore, the formula for the area of rectangle is length times width. Now, let's try this formula for our next example. Again, we have here a rectangle whose length measures 9 meters and width measures 4 meters. Now, let us solve. We have the formula for the area of rectangle, which is length times width. Now, let's multiply 9 meters to 4 meters. And that will be 36 square meters. 
great job! Now we have here another example. This time we have a triangle whose one side measures 6 meters. So that means it has 6 1 meter. So let us count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. While the other side measures 3 meters, it means that it has 3 1 meter. Now let us count 1, 2, and 3. Now if we count the number of square units that we have here, that will be 18 square meters. But we can see that we form a rectangle. And 18 square meters is the area of the rectangle form. But we are only looking for the area of the triangle. As we can observe, the triangle is the half of the rectangle. It means that if we divide our area, which is 18 square meters, into 2, that would be 9 square meters, which is the area of the triangle. We can observe if we multiply the measures of each side, which is 3 meters and 6 meters, and divide it to 2, we will get the area of the triangle, which is 9 square meters. Therefore, the formula for the area of triangle would be base times the height divided by 2 or B times H divided by 2. Now let's try this formula and solve another example. Here we have another triangle whose height measures 8 meters while the base measures 5 meters. Again, the formula for the triangle is base times height divided by 2. Now let us solve. We have 5 meters times 8 meters divided by 2. 5 meters times 8 meters is? Great job! It's 40 square meters. Now let's divide it into 2 and that will be 20 square meters. And that is the area of the triangle. Wonderful! Now let's have another example. This time we have a circle. To get the area of a circle, we are going to use the formula pi r squared. Here the value of pi that we are going to use is 3.14. Now the r stands for radius. The radius is the half of the diameter, which is the 4 inches. Therefore, the half of the diameter, which is 4 inches, is 2 inches. But here, we need to get the squared of the radius. This means that we are going to multiply it by itself 2 times. So that will be 2 inches times 2 inches. Now let us solve. 2 inches times 2 inches is 4 square inches. Now let's multiply 3.14 by 4 square inches and that will be 12.56 square inches and that is the area of this circle great job now let's move on to our last example this time we have a semicircle a semicircle is half of a circle now to get the area of a semicircle we just simply need to divide the pi r squared by 2. Again, the value of pi that we are going to use is 3.14. And the radius here is half of the diameter, which is 4 inches. And the half of the 4 inches is 2 inches. So that will be 2 inches times 2 inches divided by 2. Now let us solve. We have 12.56 square inches divided by 2. And that would be 6.28 square inches. And that is the area of this semicircle. Wonderful! You made it this far, students. Now here are the things that you learned today.